G'day YouTube, this is just a short but sweet review of the latest release of CentOS, uh, currently version 7.4. So I'll get into it, I've done a video in the past about this one. So basically, uh, starting off uh, as a bit of in terms of the philosophy or the background of CentOS, it's, uh, it's actually a project built upon Red Hat Enterprise Linux, which uh, some could say is basically, CentOS is basically Red Hat Enterprise Linux without the commercial support. Uh, CentOS developers use Red Hat's source code to create a final product very similar to uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux there. So basically, uh, as you might have guessed, the usage is for uh, mostly enterprise environments. Uh, a lot of the time, if you're in a, the IT industry or uh, if there's uh, Linux servers in, in a company, for example, uh, there's, a, there's a good chance that you're going to find that it will be CentOS. Now, why is that? Uh, the, you know, the business or company could have a Red Hat Enterprise Linux, but uh, pretty much free support, in a sense, uh, through the community. Uh, so, the version. So, I've actually installed this one recently. There's a, there's a bunch of different flavors and versions you can, in fact, get. Uh, for example, uh, when I did use the installer, you can install the, I guess you could call this the, the default desktop environment, which is the GNOME environment here, as we can probably read through here. Uh, you can also install the heavier weighted uh, KDE Plasma desktop environment, which I wouldn't recommend, uh, a little bit resource heavy. And there's the minimal installs, and then there's the minimal server installs with uh, a GUI. But uh, like I said, the default desktop environment is typically the, uh, the GNOME uh, desktop environment we can see at the moment here. Feast your eyes. So um, pretty much uh, the let, let's get into it a little bit in terms of the kernel. So you'll find this is a little bit interesting. Uh, you'll find the kernel is 3.10. Obviously these days we are up to the kernel release in Linux of about 4.15 4.16 depending on uh, how you look at it. But uh, the whole point of uh, the distributions like these is to have a very very stable environment. The, these need to run web servers. Uh, you know, to uh, basically serve uh, users on the other end. So it's it's not likely that we'll have a, uh, a CentOS in any anytime soon that will have a later uh, kernel. But uh, that's just pretty much part of their philosophy there as well. Uh, as I mentioned, we've got the des uh, the GNOME desktop environment. But uh, what people like to ask sometimes is the uh, pretty much the the window manager. So let's have a look at that one there. As you can see, it's uh, perhaps a little bit different, but it's actually using the, uh, the, the what's called the GNOME files uh, manager there in terms of uh, things. It's, it's not really no frills, but it's, it's not really fantastically amazing looking. It is also an older version as well. Currently, uh, the GNOME version, at least for CentOS, is 3.22. Uh, there's there's much later versions. Say, for example, the latest Ubuntu has 3.28 and onwards. So again, they're looking at stability with CentOS uh, for uh, you know web server environments, things of that nature. Uh, the package management system is very similar to Fedora and Red Hat Enterprise Linux, as you can guess. So it's the RPM. Uh, package manager and the um, package management system I guess officially they call it and the update method is called yum so for example if we were to uh, want to install yum install uh, GIMP for example that's how we install stuff basically now that's already installed latest version but a little bit different to the Debian uh, classes of the update methods there uh, so that's pretty much it in a nutshell, guys. Uh, a little bit older in terms of uh, kernels. They are obviously secure and up-to-date in that fashion, but they are more stable and thus a little bit older in terms of versioning. Uh, it's uh, yeah, incredibly stable, I'm finding this to be, which is, a, which is a good thing. You probably wouldn't use it for your daily desktop uh, usage, but uh, like all Linux distributions, you can pretty much install whatever you want on it. Uh, this one comes with a bunch of system tools here, uh, that sort of thing. Oh, there we go. Firewall, uh, yeah, secure Linux uh, troubleshooting, all of that. But um, I don't normally get into applications too much with uh, with reviews of operating system purely because, like I say, you can pretty much install anything you want. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, yeah, just a just a quick video. If you've enjoyed, please subscribe, and I uh, yeah, appreciate your time. Thanks.